Hey guys, Jengar here. Welcome to today's premium review in which we are taking a look at the British MB5 sitting at 5.7 battle rating. Plane was released in patch 1.77 and I was really looking forward to this plane. I bought it immediately as I saw the pack appear and let's take a good look whether this plane is worthy of the price. The maximum speed in this plane at sea level is 588 km an hour without web and 629 km an hour with web. Go up to 4500 meters and the maximum speed without web is 528 km an hour and with web it is 557 km an hour. Go up to 6500 meters and you'll take the plane to 511 km an hour without web and 526 km an hour with web. Now that is pretty a good speed in a plane. It is one of the faster planes at its battle rating. The top speed in a dive is, four, is 844 km an hour before it redlines and 940 km an hour before it ripped apart. Now that is fantastic speed in a dive. The handling is also very good up to 750 km an hour. You do notice a little bit of control stiffening already, particularly in the roll rate at 600 km an hour. But the plane stays relatively effective up until 750 km an hour when the roll rate really starts to suffer. The elevator stays reasonably functional though. Which is very nice, very nice. Good, good diver and that is really the main strength of this plane. Tall speed is 160, 165 km an hour. The plane is pretty poor in stall maneuvers though and it gets really sluggish when slow. It also creates a little bit of a wobble, especially in stall maneuvers like uh, hammerheads and such. Things where you need to use the rudder and I have a feeling it has to do with that rudder. It's, it's a bad rudder, it's one of the worst rudders I've seen lately and um, you see this wobble also more in uh, AB and I think that is because you use rudder a lot more in arcade compared to realistic battle and thus you see the wobble more often in AB as well but it's still there a little bit in realistic battle and uh, this rudder really doesn't help the plane when it's slow and in stall maneuvers so be careful because most planes you face will kill you in stall maneuvers and will be better than you in their energy retention in the vertical than this plane good firepower on the plane although although this is when the hispanos work you have four times 20 millimeter hispano mark two cannons with 200 rounds per gun. I used stealth belt and a 600 meter convergence. Um, if they work, they're good, but you know, you get a lot of sparkles in the Hispano these days. And uh, the, the guns overheat rapidly as well. So be careful not to jam your guns. Creates a lot of sparkles and the gun placement is bad. They are spread widely on the wings and both pairs are spaced out a lot as well. This creates a situation where you often only get one 20 millimeter on the target and it creates more hits next to the sparkles already so that is a little bit annoying the ammo load though is excellent nothing to complain about with uh, 200 rounds per gun the acceleration in the plane in a straight line is decent and in a dive it's good to very good depending on the angle if you take a very steep angle the the acceleration is very good but not initially though especially not if your speed was slow when you start in the dive and you do get caught by a lot of the opposition in the initial part of a dive uh, in the end you will always extend in this thing and you can get up to jet speed in this plane before it rips apart so you will be able to escape from planes using the dive speed of this thing energy retention in the horizontal is really amazing uh, fantastic energy retention in the horizontal it holds its speed magnificently in the vertical though it is no more than average I have been outperformed in the vertical by many opponents and this especially, I think it has to do with the rudder, I'm not sure though, but um, uh, average performance in the vertical in this plane, especially when you pull uh, high G's and start to maneuver as you try to avoid the opposing player's shots. Climb rate in the plane is average to decent and this is without using Mac, uh, the overheating in this plane is terrible terrible it overheats at seven kilometers flying in a straight line at hundred percent on Norway and other snow maps 
So on cold maps in a straight line it will overheat on 7k altitude where you normally would say that uh, there you should be alright. And you really, if you want to cool this engine down you have to go to about 90% uh, of the engine power and then it will cool down but it will never cool down completely again to white numbers especially the oil is terrible. And you can say uh, learn to use Mac. Well, you could, but I don't think the performance of the plane as we get kicked out of a match, by the way, I don't know if you saw that, but uh, we were flying, we were climbing for a few minutes and we were kicked out of the match. There's a few bugs in, uh, in water. And I was also uh, a reduced altitude in one match. I was at 6,500 meters and I was pushed down 4,000 meters to 2,500 meters. That was also pretty weird. Let me know if you've seen any of these bugs, but uh, it happened to me a few times. Hopefully they ironed it out already. I saw they had a client stability uh, patch uh, today. Pretty good. But uh, this plane has its problems with the overheating. It is absolutely horrendous uh, if you use automatic engine control. And uh, that is what 95% of the player base uses. So uh, yeah, that is terrible on this plane. The turn time in the plane is, uh, is average. And with flaps it's decent. The flaps do rip off though at 340 kilometers an hour. And this plane really is not very good when it's that slow. So uh, the flaps really don't help that much except in the 300 to 340 window, let's say. Roll rate in the plane is average to decent, let's say. It becomes average when you get slower than 350 kilometers an hour. Uh, but above that it is pretty decent. 400 kilometers to 750, the roll rate is pretty decent. Maneuverability overall I would call average, it's nothing to write home about and you definitely don't want to start turning in this plane. You lose speed and once you get slow this plane really is a coffin. There is nothing much to say about that. Overheating like I said, terrible. Durability in the plane, not very good. The plane is very prone to fires. If you get hit in the engine you are on fire. There is two massive fuel tanks underneath the pilot in the center of the plane. If you get 150 cal in there you're on fire. And what I've noticed is that this plane explodes after a fire, let's say 5 to 10 seconds and it explodes and you're dead. I have been killed by fires in this plane a lot, let's say that. I did manage to pull out a uh, 2 to 1 kill death ratio in this plane in RB, but bloody hell I had to work for it. This was my best, best match in AB by the way, terrible. Anyway, um, let's see uh, our uh, RB match. Green we have on hand we have 146,000 self lines and almost 13,000 research points. It's a premium and I have some premium time and it is making money. It is making bank so that's good. <laughs> hey guys so here we are after the match. Now let's see this plane doesn't take its damage well like I said it's prone to fires and it doesn't take a wing damage well either. You got to go back to the airfield. Difficult to land. Uh, not a lot of lift in these wings and if they do get uh, hit then you are in trouble immediately. There is a lot of downsides to this plane. Uh, the overheating makes sure that you cannot web uh, while climbing. If you cannot web while climbing the, this plane has a problem with its climb rate. Cannot get up the altitude. Gets out climbed by 109s, by 190s, by American um, P-51s, P-47s of course. There's a lot of planes that out climb this plane and uh, have better performance in a lot of areas. What this plane does have speaking for it is the speed. It is a fast plane. It is good in a dive. It has good uh, maneuverability in the dive for a long time. It is very bad when it's slow though. And like I said, it has these problems. Problems in the stall maneuvers, problems with the rudder. It wobbles. It is sluggish when slow, overheating, prone to fires. I've had a, a wonderful time in this plane. <laughs> it was not uh, what I hoped it would be. Um, if they can tweak the overheating a little bit, because it is really, I mean, if you overheat this plane at 7K altitude in Norway, flying in a straight line at 100% without using web, there's something wrong. Uh, it's a little bit overdone and uh, it makes the plane handicapped because it cannot get the altitude and it cannot use its strings like it should as a boom and zoomer getting up to speed and diving on planes. That's where this plane should be but because of this overheating it often gets out climbed and um, I have heard some people say that with Mac you can navigate around this but uh, what about people who don't use Mac? And that's about 95% of the RB player base, right? 
uh, or the uh, people that don't want it, people that don't want to to use Mac and uh, find it too much of a bother. You know, there's a lot of arguments there. The pla a plane should be functional. And if, if it is not, you should put a marker on this plane and say, this plane, please only buy it when you use Mac because it is crap if you don't use Mac. That would have been a good warning in that sense. This plane can be fixed. It needs the, the overheating tweaked a little bit. Now for the rest, it can be worked with uh, fine if that is not a problem anymore. But uh, in the state it is right now, I cannot recommend this plane. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I want to thank you all for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye. If you're new here, make sure to hit the subscribe button, become part of this community. If you are already a subscriber, don't forget to like the video, do leave me a comment. And if you really feel like helping out today, make sure to share the video with your friends and let them know about the channel.